Hi, my name is Dr. Mauricio Herrera, and I am an orthopedic surgeon from Miami, Florida. And today we will be demonstrating the use of a percutaneously placed slotted guide to help insert multiple 1.8 knotless fiber tacks for a posterior instability repair. I like to start with the spinal needle through the 7 o'clock portal. I refer to this portal as the 50-yard line approach as it provides access to place three anchors without removal of the guide. I start inferiorly to the portal position and give the guide a couple of taps to engage the cartilage so the guide will not slide. Go ahead and drill the hole and advance the 1.8 knotless fiber tack through the guide and mallet until flush with the guide handle. At this point, most surgeons will have the urge to remove the guide outside of the joint and prepare for the next anchor, but this adds time to the procedure. With the slotted guide, we can leave it in place and disengage the sutures from the guide. Simply remove the sutures from the outside of the guide and hold tension on them while rotating the guide 360 degrees to simply confirm that the sutures are fully removed from the guide. Simply clamp the sutures outside the body to prepare for the next anchor. We placed an anchor at the inferior position. Now we will move up to the next position without removing the guide and insert another anchor. Resist the urge to remove the guide and disengage the sutures. We'll repeat the anchor insertion and suture management steps. Insert your final anchor, disengage the sutures, and now you can remove the guide. With the guide removed, I think it's best to clamp all three anchor sutures to keep them organized to assist with suture management. Disengage one set of sutures at a time during the passing and completion of the instability repair. So we performed a posterior label repair using the slotted drill guide, which allowed us to place multiple knotless fiber tack anchors through one percutaneous portal without removing the guide, simplifying our workflow and allowing us to get an anatomic posterior labral repair.